Hello YouTube, today I'm going to show you how to change the tempo of a single track in GarageBand 09, which is the free version of GarageBand that is preloaded onto most Mac computers. This method does not apply to GarageBand 11, which has the new flex time technology. First you're going to want to open GarageBand and start a new project working with loops, just because this will start you off with a blank slate. Next you want to give your project a name, and you want to decide what tempo and key you want. For this example, I will be choosing a BPM of 140 and a key of E minor. Next, you want to decide the track in which you want its tempo to change. Now some music files are AIFF or WAV and are specially encoded to allow them to automatically sync to your project's tempo and pitch, and these tracks will appear blue or purple, but sometimes the tracks appear orange and their tempo and pitch are not automatically synced with their project's tempo and key. This is always going to be the case when working with MP3s. So let's say we decide to change the tempo of an MP3 and we want it to change from whatever tempo it is to our project's tempo of 140 beats per minute. First of all, in order to precisely change this tempo and or pitch, we're going to need to know what the original tempo and or pitch is. Unfortunately, GarageBand does not come equipped with the technology that can identify a track's tempo or pitch. So you're going to have to use some outside resources. There's three ways you can do this. One, if it's a popular track, you can usually find out its tempo and key on beatport.com. Another way is if the track is a loop that is a part of a sample pack, it will usually tell you the tempo and key of the track. But if neither of those methods work, I would recommend using Virtual DJ or something similar. I recommend Virtual DJ because it's free and it instantly recognizes the tempo and key of a track. For this example, I'm going to find two tracks that are in E minor but have different tempos, especially tracks that don't have a BPM of 140. So the track on the left is 144 BPM and the track on the right is 135 BPM. But both are in the key of E minor. I want them to be in the same key so I don't have to make any additional changes in the pitch. So let's give a listen to both of these tracks to see if they have a potential of mashing together well. Okay, so we hear that the tempos are different, but they're in the same key, so they could possibly go together well. I'm going to be importing the track that has a BPM of 144 first. So the first step is to change the project's tempo to 144 BPM. To import tracks from iTunes, select the media browser on the right, and then choose which tracks you want from iTunes. Now, as you can see, this MP3 track is orange, and there's currently no way to change its tempo or pitch which can be frustrating. Now let's try to add the other track that had a BPM of 135. And when I play them, you will notice that they are each playing at different tempos. Even though the project's tempo is 144 BPM, So as you may have noticed, that sounded pretty shitty because they were both totally out of sync. So what you want to do first is to make sure that before importing the track, that the project's tempo is the same as the track that you're importing. If the project's tempo was not the same as the track's tempo before importing it, this method will not work. After importing the track, this next step is crucial. You need to type the following hotkey combination. Control Alt G and then click on the track. It will then turn purple, which means you are now able to change the tempo and pitch of the track. But don't stop there. You need to do this procedure in this exact order or else it will not work. So immediately after the track turns purple, you need to change the project's tempo to the desired tempo. In this case, it will be 140 BPM. Next, you want to double click the track so that you open the editor and you will now see that you have the option to follow tempo and pitch. You need to click the box so that the check mark appears and it will then proceed to analyze the audio file which means it's changing the tempo of the track to the desired tempo of the project. 
And in this case, we have changed the tempo of the track from 144 BPM to 140 BPM, so it has been slowed down a bit. I will now repeat this process for the other track, but since the other track is a BPM of 135, I will actually be speeding it up to 140 BPM. But remember, you need to change the project tempo to the tempo of the track you are importing before importing it. That's very important. So now that we change the tempo to 135, we need to press Control Option G again and click the track again so that it turns purple. Now we click Follow Tempo and Pitch. It'll analyze the audio file and now it will change it from 135 BPM to 140 BPM. Now I'm just going to do some editing here and clip off the intro from the top track to add some nice dynamics to the project and I'll press play and see how they sound together. Now that both tracks are synced, you can actually change the tempo of the project to whatever you want and both tracks will automatically sync to the project's tempo. So let's reduce it to 120 and see how that sounds. Now if you only want to change the tempo of one track but keep the other track the same, or if you want to have two tracks with two different tempos, there is a way to do this. For this example, I'm going to increase the tempo of the project to 240 BPM so that I can have one track that is going to be twice as fast as the other track. Next, you go to Edit, then you're going to select Add to Loop Library. And this part is huge. Make sure you save it as a one shot and not a loop because this way the track will have a separate tempo from the other track because it ignores the tempo and after you create that um, you're gonna search for it obviously and after you do that you're gonna change the tempo to half of 240 which is 120 you can choose whatever tempos you want. I'm just using these as an easy example. Then you're going to import the track from the loop library into the project. And it will look blue like this. And you can also press Control alt g which will turn it purple again and will give you the ability to select whether you want to follow tempo and pitch. Now it won't follow the pitch or the tempo, but you can change the pitch to whatever you like. However, leaving it at zero will be the best option because it will remain the key of E minor. I hope this has been helpful. All music was created by me. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.